Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today I'm going to present to you long division with bows using the golden beads. And this is the last of our golden beads presentation. So when we get to do long division with bows, I'm going to admit it's not something we do very often in the primary environment. It's at best maybe something we do once or twice a year. And the age group that we present this to is about five and a half to six years old. So these are older children who've already done all the other golden bead operations. And they've probably already started on the stamp game, at least doing addition and subtraction, maybe multiplication. But they've definitely already done division with the golden beads by the time they get to this. When we present this, they're already really familiar with the golden bead system. They're already familiar with static and dynamic division so they'll know how to exchange already. So the only thing that we're really showing in this presentation that's new is how to do long division. And we don't go back to this presentation very much. We don't really have the kids go back and do this a lot, not unless they're really motivated to do it, because we often just switch to the stamp game at this point in time. Now, if you're curious about long division with the stamp game, I already have a video on that and I'll drop the link down below. But for this, we really just want to show the purpose purpose of what long division does. And that's what this presentation will do. It's going to show the function of long division and that will make it a lot easier to do the presentations with the stamp game on long division. So to start with, we're going to set up just like we normally do. So we're going to set up having our large number that we want to share. Now, when I present this, this is my usual number I present and I invite three children for this presentation. And the only thing that's different at this point are these bows. Now you can really use anything you want as long as it has green and blue. So when we give a green bow to a child, we are saying that they're going to collect for one person. And as you can see, I have a safety pin on this and that just means that they can wear it if you want. Now, if you would rather do bracelets or necklaces or however you want to display this, that's up to you. Feel free to change it if you don't like the bows, if you don't like the safety pins, that's okay. You make it your own and you do it your way and that's perfectly fine. So the green bows are gonna mean that they are collecting for one person. And then you're gonna have a blue bow over here and that means that that child is gonna collect for 10 people. So we're gonna set up in the usual way for division. We're gonna have our number. We're gonna invite three children and we're gonna say, I want to share this number with 12 children. And I'm gonna tell the child with the blue bow that they can invite nine friends and they're going to collect enough beads for all of the nine friends and themselves. So that makes 10 people. And then the children who have the green bow, they're just collecting for one person. And then after that, you're gonna ask for the rules of division. What are the rules of division? The first rule is that we always start with the largest number in division. We have to share equally. And the answer is what one person gets. Now, if we have to exchange, what do we do? When we exchange in division, we have to take the larger number that we're on and we have to break it into a smaller category. We have to exchange it for the next one down. So now that we have the rules of division, we have to have a new rule because this time we're doing something a little bit different. So because this child is collecting for 10 times more people, they have to get 10 times more beads. So if the child that's collecting 10 times more has 1,000, then the next child who's only collecting for one person gets 100. Or if they're collecting for 100, then the children collecting for one person gets a 10. And if they're collecting for a 10, then the child that's collecting for only one person gets a unit. So that's our new rule. The child with the blue bow is gonna collect 10 times more than the children collecting for just one person. So now that we've done that, now that we've explained our new rule, we have to share equally and exchange as needed. So let's start sharing equally. Now we're gonna start with the child who has the blue bow first. They're collecting for 10 people. So if I give them 1,000, 
The child collecting for just one person gets 100. So they each get 100. So this one gets 10 times more. So they have 1,000. This one gets 100, and this one gets 100. So we're going to go one for you, one for you, one for you. Now we still have more to share, so we're going to do this again. One for you, one for you, and one for you. So now we've run out of 1,000, so we have to switch to 100s. The child getting 10 times more is going to start with 100 right here. So one for you, one for you. This is what they get. This is 10 times more. So one for you, one for you, and one for you. We're gonna go one for you, one for you. Uh-oh, we're gonna need to exchange. So let's go to the bank. We're gonna take this one. Let's take this back for a second so we don't get confused. Let's take that back. Let's take this to the bank and exchange it. All right. We've got more, so now we can keep going. All right, so one for you, one for you, and one for you. Let's keep going again. One for you, one for you, and one for you. So now we've run out of 100s, so that means the child that's collecting 10 times more can start with their 10s. One for you, and of course, if they get a 10, the person collecting just one gets a unit. So one for you, one for you, one for you. One for you, one, uh-oh, uh nope, we can't do that. We're gonna have to go to the bank and exchange one of these to make some more units. So let's go do that right now. All right, we've got 10 units, we've made our exchange, so let's keep going. One for you, one for you, and one for you. We have more to share so we can keep going. One for you, one for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you, and one for you. Now, I've had this big number, we've shared equally, and the answer is still what one person gets, but we're not done yet, because we need to share these with our 10 friends. So we're gonna set that up next. But first, let's count what one child gets. 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 236. So at this point, these two children are going to go get their numbers from their number table and get the number 236. And then we're going to switch it up and we are going to share equally to show that this child has collected for 10 people. So we're going to set that up in just a second. All right, so now we are ready to show how the child that's collected for 10 friends really has the same amount as the two children who are collecting just for one person. Now, as we get started, these two children are already set. They've already got everything they need. They've got their numbers and they have their answer. And now we're just showing how we're still sharing equally, even though this child is collecting 10 times more. Because when you look at it, it looks like we didn't share equally, right? So the first time through, they might be saying, wait a second, that child gets 10 times more. That's not fair. Now we really need to solidify the concept that they do have the same amount. And here are the nine friends that they're sharing with. So child number three and their nine friends. And now we're gonna share equally. So we have the amount right here and we're gonna start sharing equally. One for you. Uh-oh, we don't have enough to share equally, do we? No. So let's go to the bank and we need to exchange, right? So let's exchange for the next one lower, which would be hundreds. Here we go. Now we have enough to share, don't we? Let's see. One for you. Straighten these out as we go. Make sure we have enough room. One for you. 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 One for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. 
Okay, now we still have this thousand left. Can we share it equally? Nope, so we have to go to the bank and exchange it. Here we've got 10 one hundreds. So let's start sharing equally. One for you, 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 and one for you. Okay, let's share equally. Oh, but do we have enough of the one hundreds to share equally with the ten friends? Nope. So what do we have to do? we have to go to the bank and exchange. So let's go do that. All right, I have 10 tens. Do we have enough to share equally still? Nope, so we're gonna have to go back to the bank and exchange again. Now, can we share this one equally? Nope, so we have to exchange again. All right, here we are. All right, now can we share equally? Let's find out. Let's give ourselves a little more room. And let's do one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you, 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 and one for you. One for you. One for you, 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 and one for you. So far we're sharing equally. They all have the same amount, so let's keep going. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. Can we keep going? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have six left, but we have 10 friends to share with. Is that going to be enough? It's not. So what do we need to do if we can't share equally? We need to exchange. So we're gonna to have to go to the bank and exchange these one at a time. So let's start with the first one. All right, we've exchanged for 10 units. Let's do the next one. There's the next one. Let's exchange for this one. 10 units there. Let's keep going. And let's exchange our last 10. There. Now we have enough to share equally. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. 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 All right, so now that we're done sharing equally, we can see that everybody has the same number. So the answer is still what one person or what one Skittle has. So let's count. 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 236. Is that the same amount as the two children up here? It sure is. So that means that we did share equally. And of course, as the adult, you will notice that the number that we started with right here to share equally, if we just take away the zero, is 236. However, we're not explaining that at this point in time. There is a place in the stamp game where we start talking about zero and how it works with division, but we're not gonna do that here. So if you notice that and you want to explain that during this presentation, I would just hold off. If they notice it themselves, that's great. I wouldn't do anything more than let them observe that, let them notice that. I wouldn't do any explaining. Just let them sort this out. So we're going to do the first part, which is getting 10 times more than the other two children. And then we're gonna do the second part where we show how we really did share equally and that the answer is still what one person has. 
And that's it. And that's really all we're going to do with the Golden Beads presentation. Like I said, we don't do this very often in primary. And when I explain this to the children, when I say to this third child that has the blue bow, when I say, okay, you're going to invite nine friends in my album, they literally want you to invite nine friends over. Now, I never do it that way. I always just make a list. I sit down with this child and I'll say, okay, I want you to think of nine friends that you have. Think of nine names and we're going to write them down on a list. And you're going to collect for those nine friends because they're not here, but you're going to see them later. So you're going to collect enough beads so that you can share those beads with them later. So that's how I go about it because a lot of the times in my classroom, inviting over 12 or more children um, is just either not possible or it's just not very functional. So I sit down with them and I just make a list of names. And then we give those names to the Skittles as we go along. So that's how I do things just a little bit differently than my album. Now, if you have a different way of going about this, I would love to hear from you. If you have a better way or a more functional way or just a way that works for your classroom that, um, that I haven't thought of or I haven't seen before, I would love to hear from you because this is kind of a complicated lesson, right? This takes a lot of steps. And if you're gonna invite 12 or more children over for whatever number you pick, that's a lot going on. So that can get a little bit chaotic, which maybe, maybe that works for you. Maybe you want to keep things under control a little bit more and not have quite so many children in one lesson. That's okay. And so that's really all there is to it. It's actually pretty simple, but it does take a lot of work. It does take a lot of steps, but it really gives you that, that purpose of division. It really shows the function. And if you have a student that's motivated enough to make a list of names or to invite friends over or to really include like half the class in this lesson, uh, they could go back and repeat it. However, from my experience, we've always just moved on to the stamp game to tell you the truth. So I, I've never had a child actually want to repeat this. Uh, they're perfectly happy going to the stamp game. So I'd love to hear what your experiences are with this or give it a try in your classroom and see what your finding works for you. So if you have some tips, if you have some advice, or if you have some questions, just let me know by leaving a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I will also drop that link to Long Division with the Stamp Game down below too, so you have access to that. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.